So we're going to talk a lot about code this semester. That's worth just unpacking this idea of what is computer code. So think about the word code, right? I mean, code itself is an interesting term. Code, until you started to study computer science, you might have thought of a code as it's like a way of scrambling something, right? Like code is something that spies use to communicate with each other. We use to try to make sure that somebody can't understand our messages. When my uh, sister was young, she had a special code that she would write in her, uh, she's gonna be angry with me for sharing this piece of information about her, but she used to have this code that she used to write in her journal to prevent us from uh, reading it. I suspect many of you actually do things like that. Um, so, you know, but computer code, even though once we get started with it, when we get started with it, it may seem a little bit like that, right? It may seem a little bit like unintelligible, like what is this? Um, computer code is not designed to obfuscate, right? We're actually trying to be clear. Um, if anything, what makes computer code difficult is the requirement that we be absolutely 100% precise and clear about what we want the computer to do. Because sometimes I think about computers as sort of like this really powerful genie, right? Imagine a genie appeared, and but instead of like rubbing a lamp, you had to write computer code to get it to do what you want. It says like, you have an unlimited number of wishes, right? That's kind of what computers are like today. They're these big, powerful friends that can do really incredible, useful, uh, world-transforming things for us. But here's the catch. You have to know how to communicate with them. You have to know the code. And the code is, like I said, it's not designed to be confusing. It may seem that way sometimes. But what it requires of us is that we be clear, that we be precise, that we be accurate. Um, sometimes to a degree that we as humans are not prepared to deal with. Human language is extremely flexible. Some of you may have had the experience of going to another country where you didn't speak very much of the language, and yet you still find that you can communicate with people. You're speaking your terrible, broken, you know, Italian that you're reading out of your guidebook or whatever, and the person's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. I, I, I kind of understand what, what you want. Like, are you speaking well? No. Are you speaking even in proper sentences? Probably not. Sometimes you're just like reading the words out of the guidebook, you know, like this is what I need. And they're like, oh, right, okay. But they can make sense of that, right? Our human brains are amazing when it comes to language. We're so good with ambiguity. Languages like English are full of this, these sentences that are actually really, really difficult to understand. And if you think about it, that's one of the things that's made it so difficult for computers to understand human languages. There's so much ambiguity. Um, Computers are not good with ambiguity. They are powerful, they are tireless, they are extremely accurate, but they are not good with ambiguity. So when you make a small, tiny little mistake, you're gonna make thousands of these, probably tens of thousands of these this semester, the computer will just be like, I got nothing. I have no idea what you wanted. You know, imagine you wrote a shopping list, and if you misspelled any item on that list, your shopper, like me, you know, we'll go to the grocery store and be like, I don't know. Like, you wrote ice cream, but it's I-S-E, and I don't know what that is. I couldn't find it, right? It's like, come on, you know what that is. I just misspelled it. Just get some ice cream. You sound it out. Computers can't do that, right? Tiny little mistakes, and the whole thing just goes south. So that is your challenge this semester, is to learn the code, right? Where the code is, being able to communicate very clearly. Now, here's the other thing that's so exciting about this, right, is that Learning how to communicate with computers also requires thinking clearly. That's this computational thinking aspect of this journey that we're going to be on together. Because not only do we have to communicate with the computer extremely accurately, but we also have to tell it exactly what to do. Exactly what to do. You just can't say, get some ice cream. You have to say, you know, um, you know, like, turn to the left 90 degrees, walk two steps forward, like you have to get me out of the house, you have to get me into the car, like, you know, uh, bend legs to 90 degree angles, scoot to right to, uh, until you feel seat, right? Like, literally. I mean, that's what you would need to do to get a computer back and forth to the grocery store, right? Um, it's a really hard problem. So we're gonna learn ways of solving problems and ways of communicating those solutions to a computer that are tremendously accurate and tremendously precise. And that's one of the things that's fun about this is it forces us as humans 
to learn how to think incredibly clearly, to learn how to devise solutions to problems that are completely accurate. When you have something, that, a, a set of instructions to solve a problem that a computer can actually carry out, you have solved the problem to an incredibly, uh, and to an incredible degree, right? You, you've put together a solution that is that even a computer could follow. And then the cool thing is, then that big powerful genie can pick up that and just do it all day long, all night long, you know, all across the world for anybody that needs it, right? So as soon as you can solve a problem in that accurate of a way, now you have this tremendously powerful companion that can help you change the world. So that's what we're doing together. We're going to crack the code. We're going to learn the code. We're going to learn how to communicate clearly. We're going to learn how to think clearly. We're going to learn how to program. We're going to learn about computer science. It's going to be awesome, right? Looking forward to it.